that's kind of the, the essence of this chapter here, which is uh, saying, make sure you teach your people. We, we know we're going to teach them the way you're, you come to faith in Christ or the way you become a Christian is by faith in Christ through His grace. It's totally a work of God. It's His grace. You accept it and you decide you want it, but you don't work your way through it. So that gives you saving faith, but there's also growing faith. And so in the faith that grows you, don't feel like you have to work to gain His favor. You didn't gain His faith. You know, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We didn't have His favor before He saved us from the standpoint of our works. We had His favor because He loves us. So, so just don't feel like there's a debtor's ethic. I've got to work for God to continue to really love me and like me. You see what I'm saying? And, and have favor on me. Do you, do you see that as a, as a potential problem or issue with people or even in your own life? I mean, do you kind of, even though you know that he's going to love you no matter what, do, do you even sense a little bit in your life that, that he he loves me more, maybe based on what, or he's more pleased with me based on what I do. I don't know. Yeah, I think a lot of times just like not necessarily doing things, but just going to church. People think if I'm at church, that's going to give me some more points. Yep. You know, if I go to genuine, or if I go to the well, or I go to Nexus, or whatever the evening service is, you know, then I got two points on Sunday. And then I go to a small group during the week. I'm just earning these points, rather than this is a time where I get to go <coughs> with fellow believers, mm-hmm. and I get to go through, go out there and just, you know, just worship with people that believe the same thing I do. It turns into a, I get to earn my points today, and I get to, <coughs> to earn that. Do, do. So you say sometimes you feel like you live your Christian life that way. There are times I go to church just because it's expected of me. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Paul? So I've been in a quiet time for me. Like, when I have my little quiet time or whatever, um, I'll just sit down and read or whatever. I feel like, okay, God's, God's more pleased with me now, you know. Okay, good. And, I'm, and I may have a better day now. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and that's not, a, you know, that's just part of what I'm thinking. Or whatever. It's not, like, the, the main thing, but at the same time, like, I'm not really giving like my whole heart to God and saying like I just want to seek you and know you it's more like okay I just want you to be happy with me here so I'm going to read and say my prayers and whatever and then you know, you'll be pleased with me so yeah I think there's a little underlying mm-hmm. um, what's that called what could that Debtor, debtor's ethic okay, is yeah. what Piper yeah, calls I think it. there's a little underlying mm-hmm. stuff within my life that I'll say <coughs> what do you think Paul? Read. same thing all good, all done. One thing I'll notice too, and I'll have to admit just from my own life, that that uh, as as pastor, like if I'm going to go lead a conference, uh, like the last couple of years I've led a men's retreat for Paramount Baptist Church in Amarillo, but we but I've gone to uh, to Glorietta to lead that retreat. What's interesting is I make sure, even as I read that chapter, I thought even I feel a debtor's ethic to have a growing faith and for God to be more pleased that I do certain things. So so I think I even do this. Um, but I remember last time I made sure I had a good quiet time that whole week. I was more disciplined uh, <clears throat> to have my quiet time leading up to that week. And as I look back on it, I'm thinking it was probably because I thought, okay, maybe God's will shine on me, his power will be on me a little deeper, a little stronger, you know, and then if I get up and teach these men, you need to have a quiet time, then I know I, then I feel good about myself because I made sure I had my quiet time, but was my motive that I really want to go deep with God and get close to him, or was my motive that debtor's ethic, that work ethic of if I do this, then God will do this. If I make sure to get my quiet time in, then I'm going to be a be a better leader at this retreat. I'll be a stronger leader. I'll be have greater insight. And you know what? Chances are, that's probably true. But motive is key. My motive should be that I, I want to spend time with God because I love Him. It's like I've shared with y'all before. I mean, I don't have to work to spend time with my wife. You know, I, it's a very natural thing to spend time with Jamie. 
because I love her. You know, my, my the love is what motivates me. And so, you know, I think if we're not, if you're not careful, you'll you'll even study hard, Evan, for your teaching. You know, at Redstone, because you want God to. to the motive is God will bless me. God, you know, maybe if I really work hard. You know, someone may even come to Christ. And, and that's okay. I don't want us to misunderstand that. But the main motive is I want to study because I want to grow. And I want to get deep with God. And I want to see God move in my heart and my life. And and the, the, the end result could be that someone else comes to Christ or that he blesses us at you know, this week's preaching time at Redstone. But, that, but my motive is not so he'll be more pleased with me. He's not going to be more pleased. You know, God loves even the person that doesn't have a quiet time. And it's just hard for us to fathom.